guys welcome back to my channel my name is Denise this is podcast number two um, and it must be the hottest day ever I feel like I've never been so hot in all my life obviously I have uh, but it's just so hot today um, in the car it said it was 30.5 or 30 and a half degrees um, so yeah it's just so hot um, but I thought I'd quickly come on today it's Friday and give you a podcast I probably won't edit this till later um, when it's cooled down a bit it's supposed to be a lot cooler tomorrow as well so I want to spend as much time outside as I can and, in, and enjoy the it is, a quite, it is a little bit breezy today um, so I'm going to go and sit out in the shade um, so yeah anyway let me get on with the podcast um, first thing I have finished so my finished objects is this cute little baby cardigan that is for um, Bill's niece. Um, I just decided to put buttons on the top here. They're just sort of fish eye buttons. I did this in the 0 to 3 month size. I'm hoping it's still going to fit her, but she was tiny when she was born. She was like five and a half pound, I think. Um, so it should fit. I used Robin yarn. Um, I did sort of show it in the last... Um, podcast but I haven't got it with me anymore um, I think I've put it away like the the odds and ends that I had left over um, but it's really really cute really easy it was the fuss free baby cardigan I will leave the link down below um, top down raglan super super simple you started with the white for the neck then went down and then separated and so on and so forth I just need to quickly run the iron like steam over this and then it'll be ready to gift and I'm going to give that gift to that um, today um, if Ian goes to the garage the next thing that I finished number two is this little jellyfish um, this is the jellyfish pattern that I use all the time it's from uh, one dog wolf I think I will leave it linked down below um, but I have used Panland yarn I have used a four mil hook I'm sure it was a four mil nope I used a three and a half mil hook for this actually um, and I just did it as to the pattern it's the same pattern that I use for the big giant um, jellyfish obviously that's much thicker yarn I use a seven mil hook and it comes up Come, they come out ginormous uh, and I just thought I'd put a hook on this um, then they could probably hang it on the pram or on the cot or wherever um, but it's entirely up to them they can actually snip this I think or did I sew it in I can't remember um, <clears throat> but I thought it'd be nice to hang uh, I didn't do the tentacles too long because obviously don't want them to get tangled or anything but I thought it was super super cute so that is uh, finished object number two that is all of my finished objects um, my whips I will I haven't done any of the cross stitch so I won't show you that the first thing I'll show you is my blanket because it's down here and I'll probably forget I have done from the coca-cola stitch marker which is in this row here so I've done that much I'm onto this greeny colour now and this is what it's looking like I can't get it all in the screen <laughs> um, but I am using a four and a four mil hook for this and just using yarn that I've magic balled into a large ball and just crocheting the granny stripe um, I've got another two of those balls so that one and another two and I think this was two balls I'm sure this was two balls so I've got another three I'm hoping that it will be sort of long enough just to go via lap or something uh, but who knows I might add to it in the future um, if I do have any other odds and ends that I accumulate over the time that I'm working on this uh, I have said that this isn't a project that I've got a deadline for it's just something that I want to work on as I'm editing or on the computer um, waiting for things to upload export if I'm on zooms um, or anything like that basically anything that is I don't have to concentrate too much on and I can 
No, not, not even that. Just that I could sit there and just do some granny stripe. And it's easy. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, it's just a granny stripe. I think Attic24 has got a um, pattern. Sorry if you can hear screaming, but there is obviously children playing somewhere. Um, so, my socks. I have not really much progress on these i have um managed to get the cuff this the cuffs the same length and that is it i need to add the new color and start the leg now um i'm gonna do a um afterthought heel on these so i'm just going to knit a tube um so yeah i'm just gonna wing it and go with it basically uh the yarn that i'm gonna be using this is uh mayflower one class yellow 2012 and then I'm using a yarn that I got from could be lollies or hobby um Antarctic or Himalaya I think it is Himalaya yarn um yeah so these are my ocean ocean something socks <laughs> still can't remember um at the beginning of the year i decided that every pair of socks that i make this year because i'm not quick at making socks but the first pair i make for every month are going to be um named a certain name for that month so january was new beginnings february was loving the air march was I can't remember what March was. Uh, April was spring in my step. Then there was short and sweet. Um, and then there was holiday vibes, which was for June. These are actually my July socks, um, which is ocean something. <laughs> um, I'll leave the, the writing around somewhere. Um, and I'm sure I did this before. But I have got no progress done on these. But they are my July socks. And we're not even in July yet. So that's a good thing. My next work in progress is my top. Which I'm so excited about. Um, so this is the my little secret crop. My secret little crop. Something like that. I'll leave it obviously somewhere. Um, <clears throat> I have split for the back. So I am now knitting. Um, straight for the front now this is um, let me just pull this needle a little bit so this is what this top looks like so far and then this will carry on up to I'm assuming probably about here obviously it would go it will be in a little bit more because of the um, the way the decreases are happening along here so there is decreases along here um, I did muck up one of the decreases, but I don't think anyone's going to notice. I will show you, but can you see, instead of doing a, oh, it's here, instead of doing a slip slip knit, I knit two together, but I don't think anyone's going to really know, so I'm just going to leave it. I did get to the end of the row and I thought, oh, I've done that wrong, and I looked back and I couldn't see that it was wrong, and then about four rows lo later, I was like, I did that wrong. Um, I've got another four, no, six rows to go before I start doing the ribbon, which is just a one by one rib, um, I think, for the top bit. And then on the back here is the stitches on a little safety pin for the strap. So you basically bind off so many, you knit so many, and then you bind off so many again. And then you have two lots of six on a um, holder, they call it. And then cast off so many, and then that is your back. So that is the back. And then the front is here. I will leave this pattern link below, because I think I left the pattern over there. Yes, I left the pattern over there. Um, but it's by Jessie Made Designs. Um, and she has done the bralette that quite a few people have done or talking about. I know Barbara from the Flame and Fibre po podcast has made it. Um, and yeah. The other thing is this is my fourth ball. And um, I don't think I'm going to be needing any more of this yarn for this top. So... Um, the lovely 
lady that sent me extra yarn. I'm so sorry that I probably won't need the extra. Um, I will message you to see if you do want it back, um, but I can find use for it. <laughs> it's such a lovely yarn and I think because it's got cotton in it as well, it's not fuzzy or anything, it's just so lovely um, and I can make another sort of um, vest top for myself, I could crochet something, I don't know what this yarn would look like crocheted but I could make myself another top out of it as I just think it is just summer all, all the way. It's got pinks and yellows and greens and turquoisey colours. Um, and I think it will, it's just like a pastel fruit pastel type, is it fruit pastels? Or fi fruit fizzers? No, what were they? Refreshers, that's it, refreshers, it reminds me of. Um, and I'm hoping that this will be big enough because it does sort of go around me. And I'm really excited to get this finished. Hopefully today the front will be finished and then I can get on with the back and the straps. I don't know how long I'm going to need the straps. Um, so yeah, uh, I have actually got my other top out that I made, the, oh, what was it called? The pink one that I did, I can't remember what it was called now. Um, no, I can't remember what it's called, but I have sort of got my, my measurements from that one because it's a nice length. Um, so yeah, that's that. The next work in progress, I'm trying to whittle these down. <laughs> well, these two mainly, because socks I'm always going to have on the go. That blanket I'll probably always have on the go. Um, is there anything else that I'm missing? No, because I finished the cardigan, so that's not too bad. Now, my next work in progress is my Hotel of Bee Shawl, which I'm enjoying doing. I have made this much progress from the green marker here and it's coming out really nice i don't know how well you can see the that bit bit better the um like honeycomb section so if you watch my vlog you will know that i crocheted this whole section here which is the wings another set of wings they're not coming out brilliantly maybe i've used the wrong yarn they are coming out a bit better in sort of real life um, I haven't pulled them out either really so this is what they all look like um, my stitch count was wrong and it was wrong by about 10 and I really don't know what I did I should have had 15 of these wing things and I only had 14 um, and I was like oh maybe I could wing it like I don't really need that extra wing thing and then I'm thinking yeah but then the whole design is going to be wrong and I'm going to get to the end and I'm not going to have enough stitches to do the last probably a couple of rows or and I just thought oh just sod it I'll go back so I went all the way back to the beginning um or the end of this grey part here um a few people Kelly and Jan have said that the original pattern was wrong and there was a few rows that were really wrong and I found this out before I did this wrong and when I got it wrong I was like oh no maybe the pattern's wrong um, so I ripped back to what I needed to rip back to and my stitch count was right so somewhere along the line I did it wrong so I'm really pleased with it so far I'm loving the colours um, like I said I know it's not really Hotel of Bee colours or anything but I wear a lot of grey and I really like pink and this will go with my wardrobe really really well um, I'm hoping that this will block out a lot uh, because it is very small so I'm hoping that I'll be able to sort of block this section out a bit and um, yeah so we're only sort of at that width already so it's quite narrow but this yarn is is sort of pulling a lot so hopefully be able to block it out so the yarn I'm using for this is Love Hand Dyed um, in the colorway grey and or was it silver i think it was silver and the pink is dana's home of crafts in the colorway i can't remember funky pink might have been funky 
funky pink i'll leave all the details on the screen somewhere uh but this is the pink that i'm using and the, the silver is just the gray basically um but this looks so nice in the actual shawl i like that the, the gray sort of molds with it a little bit I'm using a four and a half mil hook that the pattern calls for and yeah i'm just keeping it in here because it's easier to pull my gray yarn from here than it is the little bag that i had it in so everything is just living in this it's got really dark <laughs> um they said it was going to thunderstorm today but the sun is just literally behind a cloud because there is not any other clouds really in the sky <laughs> um so that's that one let me just put that here that is my last whip i haven't done any of cross stitch or anything i do really want to start a um 5d diamond painting that i got for mikey and ollie which is a toy story themed one um i was hoping to start that if not today over the weekend or something when it cooled down a little bit um but i don't know maybe next week it might it's supposed to rain for a couple of days um so i might do that at some point i don't know <laughs> uh then i that's the other thing i was gonna let you all know as well um then i ordered some yarn um, so I ordered another skein from Ava Inny Yarns and I ordered the colourway Acceptable in the 80s. So, how beautiful is this yarn? Um, it is just sort of a colour pop and it just screams 80s and shell suits and everything like that. Obviously, I was I was born in 1985, um, so I was like a middle, middle 80s baby. Um, but I just thought it was so nice. Also, in that she did gift another mini skein. So this is my second ever mini skein. And it is in, oh my god, the cutest pink ever. Um, it's got my hair in it because I had to rewind it. Because it just sort of fell apart. Um, but it is so, so nice. And it is just like bright pink. Fuchsia pink it is. Um, these two do go together quite nicely. Because there is sort of bright pinks here. Um, so it does go together nicely. Whether I'll use it together, I don't know. Then, um, if you are um, on my Facebook group, today I have shared a page called Yarn Lovers. And that page is run by Kimberly, um, And she does yarn raffles. So she will put, she does lives. She also put raffles puts raffles on her page um, we've been talking for a little while and we've become really good friends um, we do the zoom chats together we chat on Facebook um, and yeah it's just really really nice and she's a really lovely lady so if you're interested then go over to yarn lovers and check Kim out and her raffles they are one pound a number and you can PayPal her that you can also PayPal her say five pound she'll keep that in credit and she'll just knock off the pounds as you use them um so i one night i just i know i knew i had one credit left and i was like sod it just put my credit on this raffle it was alive and um I won. <laughs> so her raffles are mainly for um, five balls of yarn. So there is so many numbers um, for five balls of yarn. Sometimes you can pick the colour that colourway that you want. Sometimes it's set colours. Um, but I won five balls of this beautiful yarn. I haven't taken it out of the bag properly yet. Uh, but I won five balls of this kiddies uh, culture DK. It's 100 gram a ball. Um, it's in the colourway candy stripe. Oh, it's just lovely. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I don't know whether a shawl or something, but it's so soft, like unbelievably soft. So I could even make a jumper out of it. I know it would be quite stripey, but um, yeah, if you've got any ideas for this, then leave me. Uh, a comment down below it is so lovely it's like pink purple and white um i had a choice out of five colors i think four colors um and there was like one with pinks and greens and lemons and that um and that was really really nice too but i thought i might use this more than the other one so that's that 
also my Etsy shop I have got some more of the coffee cups not coffee cups but let me get them and show you so I have more of these going or they are actually live in the shop at the moment I have restocked the colors that were out of stock I have multiple uh, colors of the pink um, I have three pinks here at the moment um, they are all listed under pink and you will get sort of whoops a potluck um pink so there is three this is a very very light pink then there's like a middle pink and then a hot pink um so if you order a pink it will be potluck at the moment um just because i haven't taken pictures or anything like that so if you do order a pink one um yeah that is what you will get um all the other colors are stock in stock um so yeah that is um what has gone into the shop in the last couple of days i've also got some more coca-cola bottles going into the shop um so the first lot of coca-cola bottles that i got were 3d round so they were actually bottles where the the next lot i got had a flat back these new ones that i've got are actually round again and there is coke Coke Zero, there's a green one which I'm not sure what that is and then there's a Diet Coke, like a silver one so they will be going in the shop once I've taken pictures and I just haven't done any of that at the moment it's just too hot, <laughs> I know I should be working but um, yeah, also advent calendars are still in the shop if you're interested, I am thinking of bringing the uh, end date forward just so I know that I've got enough stock for everyone um i'm gonna have to order some more stock in for just a few pieces um as i've sold more than i actually thought i would so i am so grateful for every single one of you that's placed an order i've even got international orders so thank you so much um i probably will be changing that um I was gonna stop orders on the sec on the first of September. Um, I'm gonna bring that forward a month, so I'm going to stop orders on the first of August. So if you are interested in an advent calendar, you have one month left to buy one or pre-order one. Um, all orders will be going out in the last week in October for UK and the second week of October for international orders. So yeah that's that um all links for my shop and everything's down below and you can find me on facebook on instagram all, every, all the links are down below so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed podcast number two and i will see you all in the next video bye